Hey guys, uh, welcome to a new type of video that I'm putting up on my channel. This is gaming opinions from me, vlog style. So today we are going to be looking at some of my favorite iOS games, five of them. I'm gonna put these in order of least known to most known. So let's start with Piloteer. Piloteer is a physics-based, frustration-inducing game. You are a jetpack-wielding inventor, and you have three different sets to traverse with many different missions. These missions could range from time-based, skill-based, where you have to do like acrobatics in the air, or just point-to-point, -point, get from one place to another. It's a ton of fun, but it is rage inducing. Sometimes it feels an awful lot like Quop or like Happy Wheels. This costs $2.99, is from the developer Fixpoint Productions, and pay once and you get everything. There's no in app purchases, which is really nice. The next game is Touch Tone. This is a puzzle game where you play as a government agent trying to snoop in on your citizens to make sure nothing illegal is going on. There's a grid-based sort of map that you have to slide mirrors across to bounce around power beams to get to their destination. I like to imagine you're wiretapping each of these connections. The more connections you unlock, the more information you get. Sometimes you have to unlock keys to unlock extra gates to move forward. And then once you've actually gotten your intel, you have to make a judgment call. Is something nefarious going on here? Should the authorities be alerted? Or is this just two people chatting about library cards. The nation's security is in your hands, so figure it out. This is $2.99, there's no in-app purchases, and it's developed by Mike and Greg. Next is a skill-based game, Pop the Lock. This is in the same style of game as Flappy Bird or AA, where timing is the most important thing. You have a line and you're trying to make sure that it lands directly on a dot. Once it does, you tap the screen and move on. The line never stops moving, so you have to have very fast reflexes. The more levels that you unlock, the more dots you have to hit per each lock. The question is, how many locks can you unlock before you give up? Share that number with your friends and brag about how much time you wasted playing Pop the Lock. If you've played this before, and you probably have because this one got super popular just recently, let me know in the comments how many locks you've popped. This is developed by Simple Machine. It is free, but there are in-app purchases to remove ads. So, free-ish. The next game is a little bit older. It was released in 2014 and actually won Apple's Design Award at WWDC and the Best iPad Game Award in 2014. It's called Monument Valley. This is an isometric puzzle game where you manipulate the world to move a tiny character with a gigantic hat from one place to another. There are 10 levels with an expansion pack that you can pay for. The art style is fantastic. This is very chill. You hear pianos every time you move something inside of the world and uh, there's no violence at all. This is developed by Us2, costs $3.99 and does have that expansion pack in app purchase. Moving on to my last game, that is Fallout Shelter, made by Bethesda. This is an app that was really supposed to be a companion to their upcoming Fallout game. But holy crap, it's a lot of fun all on its own. If you're unfamiliar with the story, the apocalypse has happened. Nuclear warfare has caused all of the world to be a wasteland. And luckily, vault Tech made some vaults for some nice folks, the folks that you manage to hide away in. You control a vault and you upgrade that vault by adding various rooms, upgrading those rooms, assigning your survivors to various activities, and upgrading those survivors with getting loot from either the outside world or using the only type of in-app purchase to unlock lunch boxes. There's a lot of depth to this game. You can make sure that your vault Tech citizens have various clothes to enhance abilities. You can level up each of these characters, send them out in the wasteland to collect loot, start to produce your own stem packs and rataways. 
This is a very, very detailed and time-consuming game, and I absolutely love it. As I mentioned, it's developed by Bethesda Softworks. It is free with the one in-app purchase. And those are my five games that I can't get enough of on the iOS platform. Is there something that I forgot? Is there something you want to let me know? What are your favorite apps that you have to play? Make sure you comment down below. If you want to catch future videos, you can do so at youtube.com slash omgchad. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.